What I did was put together a committee of half a dozen PhDs in lightning protection. Uh -huh. Hi and welcome to another one of our boat how to ask the expert videos with Nigel Calder. I'm Jan Attenstedt. I'm Nigel Calder. And uh, today we will look at a topic that can get you into serious trouble, but that most boaters know very little about. Lightning protection. So Nigel, is it actually possible to protect the boat against lightning strikes? Well, this is actually a subject I know very little about as well, <laughs> but I do know the standard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and in fact, uh, 20 years ago, probably now, uh, I uh, was tasked with rewriting the American, the ABYC lightning protection standard. So, mm -hmm. so I put together... A, well, you must know something well, about I put, it. <laughs> I, I, no, what I did was put together a committee of half a dozen PhDs in lightning protection. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, one of the conclusions was that there wasn't sufficient scientific basis Mm -hmm. for the standards. So the ABYC actually took it out as a standard and turned it into an advisory mm -hmm. bulletin. Mm -hmm. uh, however, in the intervening 20 years, there's been a ton more research and the Europeans have a, I forget the number on it now, but they have a really, really thorough mm -hmm. lightning protection standard, mm -hmm. which, which defines how to protect buildings. But um, since it's based on the properties of lightning rather than on the properties of buildings, mm -hmm. uh, it's very applicable to boats. And uh, so we can effectively, if we follow the, the standards and then do the installation correctly, and that's two big ifs, because mm -hmm. um, unfortunately an awful lot of installations are not very well done, but we can protect the boat and the people mm -hmm. um, so that we don't blow a hole in the hull or, or kill somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, it's almost impossible to uh, fully protect the electronics. Mm -hmm. uh, although uh, with, all, with all of the network stuff we've got today in our houses and, and everywhere else in society, there's been a, quite a lot of advances in what we call surge protection devices mm -hmm. to deal with sudden high voltage spikes mm -hmm. and high current spikes. Mm -hmm. uh, and some of that technology is filtering down into the boat world um, and it's becoming more appropriate for our boats. But t typically in the AC world on shore, you have some fairly large and expensive devices on mm -hmm. networks and then you get smaller devices at the houses and then we get down to like a strip mm -hmm. uh, that we plug into the wall out. Um, so we've got AC protection, but not much DC, mm -hmm. but because of all of the solar installations around the world mm -hmm. now, we're getting more solar um, DC stuff, but it's a very, it's technically a very complicated subject. It's not one I understand. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and when we're getting down to the level of trying to protect electronics, uh, I would need to mm -hmm. get somebody else to, yeah. to help me. Yeah. But I mean, okay. so. If you get hit by a light, or your boat you gets hit by lightning, you can and the exactly people. because there has been damage, like a lot of damage. By actually, well, my brother's boat hit. got hit and mm -hmm. it blew out uh, thirty thousand dollars worth of you know electronics and <laughs> wow. and, uh, and and uh, battery damage and alternators. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it it went through the entire boat. Mm -hmm. um, but now that's an interesting case because the boat was on the hard. Okay. So even if you have a lightning protection system and mm -hmm. you get hit, unless mm -hmm. you've got a fairly substantial conductor, about um, what do I want? One odd or fifty mil mm -hmm. um, That's tied grounded, to uh, yeah. the grounding system mm -hmm. on the boat, and then connected to something on the ground. Mm -hmm. The lightning protection system c can't do its job. Uh, uh. So uh, he got hit on the hard. Um, there was no signs of any physical damage to the mm -hmm. hull because the lightning had to have got to ground somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it, it destroyed all the electronics. It melted the uh, <laughs> masthead VHF and blew everything off mm -hmm. the top of the mast. Yeah. Uh, it went right through the boat. Mm -hmm. It was pretty impressive the amount mm -hmm. of damage it did. Yeah. But I mean, the good news is you can still protect yourself and, and your boat. Yeah. So it yeah. won't sink if you have a properly and installed a, lightning protection system. You know, and if yeah. you do a decent job of the internal bonding, bonding all the metal objects on the boat and tying them together so you don't just have a lightning rod and a, and a conductor down to a, mm -hmm. to a ground in the water, um, you probably can do a fairly significant job of protecting some of the mm -hmm. electrics and electronics. Most of the electrical stuff, it's unlikely you're going to to uh, destroy that, although you see uh, circuit breakers that are fried mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. Um, but to go beyond that, you're going to need surge protection mm -hmm. devices. And, yeah. uh, and that, again, that's a really technical mm -hmm. subject. Of, yeah. that we, we don't address it in the mm -hmm. world how-to yeah. stuff. It's a, it's a specialist subject. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what we do talk about is how you can have the external protection right. of your boat and how you can actually make sure that you and your crew are safe and that the lightning doesn't like blow a hole in your in Well, your and hull. also we do the internal stuff that will protect the mm -hmm. wiring. Mm -hmm. um, it's the it's the electronics at the yeah. end of the, the conductors that yeah. um, we really 
Um, yeah. We're not qualified to yeah. to deal with that. Yeah. Yeah, but for all the rest, um, check out our advanced module on uh, lightning protection, which we have in our uh, advanced marine electrics course at boathowto.com. And uh, otherwise, see you soon here at YouTube.